an absolute thriller here in Tallahassee. A true tale of two halves. The Seminoles found themselves down 2-0 early on in the game after allowing Boston College to score their first goal in the soccer complex since 2009. The Seminoles crawled their way back in the second half and won this one 4-3. A real game to remember. I think we came out with a little more fight. I think we really had a hold on the game, but we just, you know, we weren't staying true to what we know. And in the second half, we just... We really like got the passes that we needed and you know we were connecting and moving a lot more and we just had to get shots off and get them on frame. It was a pretty tough game. Um, I feel like the second half we, we like fought a lot and yeah I think we like wanted more and we ended up with the win. I thought that in the first half besides uh, making a mental mistake or two that um, you know we, we played some pretty good soccer but uh, against good teams you can't make mistakes and uh, we paid the price twice and then on the third goal again it was uh, a breakdown on our part. Great finish on their part but you know, we're not going to be able to survive if we continue to make mental mistakes. Uh, the good news is I thought that there was an awful lot of good soccer that went on through the course of the game and uh, some pretty good chances and uh, some quality finishes. Florida State soccer in general, we, we always fight no matter what, you know, and we talked about it in the locker room. We're like, we're fine. There's no reason to freak out. You know, if we, even though we're down, we're going to come back as a team. Overall, you know, when you look at it in the big picture, you know, it's three points in the ACC against a good team and uh, we had to come back from, uh, from a 2-0 deficit, which is not ever easy and still find a way to win, which we were able to do. This is a big thing, you know, it touches many people's hearts, you know, it touches our hearts. You know, there's several people that we all know that, ha that have gone through breast cancer and, you know, some survive, some not, but we just, it's, it's playing for people who can't, you know, and it's really, we're out here to have fun, but we're also here to, have, to make a good cause. It's fantastic. I mean, the crowd uh, here in Tallahassee, again, was, uh, was just great. Uh, I thought that the players uh, out here with the, the pink shirts, uh, uh, obviously in support of uh, breast cancer, breast cancer awareness and so on. Um, my hope is that uh, a lot of people uh, watch the game and they're going to go on and bid for uh, these jerseys and support this uh, wonderful cause and uh, uh, everyone do their part and see if we can all help. A great win for the Seminoles, but a great cause that they've been supporting. These pink jerseys that the Seminoles have been wearing will be on auction right here at Seminoles. Com. Make sure to bid on them. They'll be going for a great cause. The Sharon Yoon Walker Breast Health Center. The Seminoles will be on the road in a week. They'll travel up to Syracuse. Make sure you stay right here at Seminoles.com. We'll have your complete Seminole coverage at the Soccer Complex. Jonathan Schlacey, Seminoles.com.